Hey everyone, so today I thought I would do a little desk tour or kind of like office tour or at least my corner of this room. And so this is where I sit. I'm going to give you a wide shot and be real with you guys. My desk is usually always this neat because I'm very um, particular about how I have my setup and because I can't control the rest of the house and how messy it gets, this is the spot that I can control. So it really is usually this neat. So my Instagram life is my real life. <laughs> when you see my desk always clear, it's because it really is. But to be real and transparent with you guys, this is how it looks around my desk. There's always a little mess here from the girls. Um, I have a five-year-old and a nine-year-old, and this is my five-year-old. She always likes to play with her dolls here. So it's always kind of a little bit messy around the house. Um, here's my husband's desk area, and he's gotten better at keeping it neat, but it's still a little bit disheveled. But um, that's his God is Great if you haven't visited his website is godisgreat.store. Check it out. But anyways, we have this shared space. So this is um, like the mid-level of our house. Down there is the living room. Over here is the kitchen area. And so this mid-level here is like our office area and we share the space. So he has that side and I have this side. So if you've been following me for a while, I used to have just one of these bookshelves and now I have two, but I used to have just one and I used to have just like one little section was the TPS or the planner spot warehouse <laughs> and I've kind of expanded just a little bit. We're still a very small shop or I'm still a very small shop because it's just me, but um, I've expanded to two shelves kind of and I wanted to show you right up here. I just have two machines, the Silhouette um, cameos and this is like I think the two and the three or something like that and I just have two right now I'm thinking about getting another one but you know we'll see and then on this shelf or these shelves here I'll show you here but first let me show you my little collection so I have these planners um, I'm in my Louis Vuitton a5 planner right now so that's on my desk but I have these planners here and these are my ring bound and this is my planner collection. So my ring bound, I'm a ring bound girl. No matter how much I try to go to some of these other planners, I always come back to ring bound. So I have my Filofax croc here and I have my Louis Vuitton pocket um, personal. I have the Kiki K gold. Um, planners which were from way back in the day or you know a couple years ago um, these I will never get rid of because they're sentimental value this is these are the planners that I was were like my unicorn planners when I first started planning and then I have the Filofax uh, Filofax what is it called nude or something in the classic patent leather and then I have the um, day designer a5 in this like spotted print which I love and I don't know I keep debating back and forth about if I'm going to sell these but I like them a lot so I don't know they're it's undecided but these for sure are keepers and then down here um, these are my collection and all of them I've tried except for this one this is brand new I shared it in my Instagram stories but all of them I've tried um for a little bit and always went back to my ring bound but I still like to keep them as collection so this is the day designer um, planner this is the get to workbook planner this is my Erin Condren this is a happy planner this is a Hobonichi um, the weekly and daily one what is it called? Cousin or something like that. And I have it in this case that I got on um, Etsy. This is the tool. So the disc system. This is the Heidi Swap um, memory planner. And this actually, even before the Kiki K's, 
this one has very sentimental value to me. This is what got me into planning and I love it so much I will never get rid of it. Then I have a moleskin for bullet journaling. I have a sugar paper little calendar which I just love this gold um, cover. And then I recently just got this, um, what is it called? Traveler's Notebook from Webster's Pages and I really like it a lot. And I'm just, I'm not a Traveler's Notebook girl but I wanted to have it for my collection. It was such a pretty pink color and I don't know, I might try it out for a notebook or something like that. So I keep that there just kind of as um, eye candy. <laughs> but in these boxes over here, so I'll just kind of give you peeks. I won't go through everything in the box, but I'll give you peeks. So this pink box here is like some planner supplies. So I have some sticky notes in there, stickers, and I have like pockets and little um, tabs and stuff. I have this Erin Condren planner pouch and some um, what you call it, Kate Spade, like sticky notes and stuff. So I just keep like sticky notes and little miscellaneous um, pockets and stickers in here for my planner, like planner supplies. And this box, I forget where I got it from, either Target or Hobby Lobby. And this drawer set I definitely got from Hobby Lobby. And all I keep in here is extra supplies. Let's see if I could do this one-handed. Um, like stamps. Here's some miscellaneous stamps. I have some business cards back here, some old business cards. I have miscellaneous washi, miscellaneous supplies like glue sticks, um, post-it tape, correction tape, adhesive runner. Oh, I wanted to share this one time on my stories, and I just never did, but I got these. It's from Michael's Tim Holtz, I think he's called. And it's just these little things I guess you use for decorating things. I don't know, like you can paint it or glue it on stuff. But what I use this for is for my um, stamps like this, my whatever these are called, those clear stamps. And they come, I took all the small ones out of here, but there's ones that are like half this size here. They're really handy. So this was only, I don't know, a few bucks and I used the coupon. So I have a bunch of extra ones, but that's a cool little thing to come across. I had just have some pen stuff, some paper clips. So just mis miscellaneous like office supplies in the store. Oops, this drawer never stays still. Let me see. Ugh. Do this one handed. And then in the bottom one, I just have electronics. So a hard drive, a ba battery pack, headphones, and miscellaneous cords. I just keep in here. And then in these three boxes, I have planner supplies um, for pocket sizes back here, um, personal size, A5 size, and then the tool or the arc bound or the disc bound system there. And then in this box, I have just miscellaneous papers and stuff. This is like an acetate or acetate on top and then miscellaneous papers down below just like uh, decorative papers and cardstock for making dashboards and then down here I just have extra sticker paper and an extra sticker book if, or a binder to use for my stickers if needed so that's what's there and then you guys already saw my planners and then these two little gray bins are my mailers so that's um, the regular size mailers for most of my stickers and inserts and then these are the bigger ones for like a5 um, and then this the, I use these gold ones only if they don't fit in these uh, flat mailers so I just have a few of those and then I have a couple like a mailing box and then I have some bubble wrap for just in case and then this is where I keep the inventory so these, this is all pocket size inserts, um, personal size inserts, and A5 inserts. And there's always like little hole punches all around my floor, no matter how much I clean up. <laughs> so yeah, I just keep them in here. I keep them flat because um, I don't want them to get bent. They're unpunched and I only punch them when I'm packing an order just in case customers want them unpunched because some people like to punch their own 
So yeah, I keep that there. And then these bins, well, the ones on top, let me move my chair aside. The ones on top are stickers, sticker inventory. So in here are my icons and doodle stickers. I'm gonna add some more doodle stickers, so stay tuned for that. Here's my like functional, and back here is gonna be some more of the sets. So like right now, I have the um, financial set, but I'm gonna make more, like a school set, a birthday set, um, shop owner set. Yeah, so I'm gonna make some more of those. That's why there's some empty space. Here are my monthly kits, and I need to fill stock in here, but this is like the current month, like this would be May. So I have like a May one in there, and then this is June in here. So I only keep two months worth in here. And then these two are secret projects that are coming up, but I will keep them in here. I'll let you guys know about that soon. And these two bins, oh, this bin is for that secret project. I'll give you a little peek, but <laughs> I'm not gonna get into it right now because I'm still kind of working it out and figuring it out, but those are supplies for that those projects I'm talking about. And then this bottom bin is like de stash. So stuff that um, I b either bought like this or stuff that I got um, in orders that I'm not gonna use because as you can see, these are very colorful. And if you know me, I like to do monochromatic stuff, black, white, gray, gold, some blush pink. And yeah, so these are very colorful. So I'm thinking what I'm gonna do is every month, I'm gonna do like a D-Stash giveaway, I think, over on my Facebook group. So whenever I have some stuff that I'm not gonna use, I'll stick it in here and I'll give it away. Um, here under my desk, back here is my bins for when I fulfill orders. Up here I have my packing bin, so cello, some tape, rubber bands, like notepad paper if I need to write a note. I keep my um, hole punches here. I keep my like little strips of paper and stickers to wrap up the which we'll call it the inserts, a mail scale, paper cutter, sticker paper, label paper for shipping, um, my own personal stash of 32 pound paper for when I print my own inserts. That's the paper I use to cut um, the strips of paper for the inserts. And then here I have like one roll of foil here. I've been trying to play around with foil, but I haven't had much time to do it. So um, I've been just kind of playing with it for personal use, but I don't think it'll be coming to the shop anytime soon. Unfortunately, I just don't have the bandwidth to do that right now. Um, I have a larger paper cutter here. I have my um, cutting mats here and some poster board here for like if I need to take pictures and stuff. So yeah, that's underneath my desk. And here's the top of my desk here next to the Cutters. I have just a little box where I keep my receipts here in this expanding, expandable folder and just miscellaneous stuff there. I have my little, the planner spotlight box. I have this marble um, whiteboard that I was using to take pictures um, for like Instagram and Etsy shop listings. But as you can see here, it's very shiny and reflective, so it didn't work out very well. So right now I just keep it there for decoration and I might just use it for reels as a whiteboard, we'll see. And I just usually keep some things that need to be cut here on this side. Here's some stuff I need to ship out um, to people and some happy mail. And in this box here, I just keep miscellaneous stuff like forms that I have to fill out for my daughter's school or stuff like that. Just some planner supplies and then I have this um, string because I want to make myself a little bracelet with that. And then here, oh wait, here I have my black um, calendar from Office Depot. And then here I have my sticker storage. So this marble one is for my, um, like every week, what I pull from in here. This is like the monthly kits that I pull from. 
This is my monthly kits that I don't pull from. It, I don't use them, but I keep them in here from, so from even 2017 and so far what we have through 2018 is in here just for reference so I can see what I've done. Um, so I don't repeat too much um, of the styles and stuff. And then in the striped binder is um, kits, or not kits, like stickers, decorative stickers from other shops. So I'll show you guys these in another video, like how I do my sticker storage. But it, this I keep it here for easy access. And then this is just an empty, there was a notebook in here and it's just empty right now. I thought it was pretty, so I stuck it here. Uh, this here, I'll show you guys, um, is an envelope that I got from Office Depot. Oh yeah, Office Depot. And I keep my stamps in here. So these stamps here, ugh. I keep them in this little envelope for easy access. And then, yeah, so I have that here. And then I have a couple sticker books here and a notepad and some sticky notes all right there. And then I have a whole collection of sticky notes in here on my favorites. I have some washi tape here and I have a few more Simply Gilded coming, which I saved this section for. Um, I have my Audrey here. I have her everywhere. Sorry about my scratched up wall. I haven't painted over that yet, but I keep Audrey here and I have her also up in my room because I love her. I have some more stamps here. Um, so, oh, here's those little blocks I was talking about. So they're very thin and I'm going to use them for those stamps that were in here. I'm going to put my most used ones, even though I don't use stamps yet, but I plan to. So I'll put the most used ones on here and keep them in here so I don't have to keep sticking them on an acrylic block and putting it back on the sheet. So I have a whole bunch of those as well as um, these little teeny tiny stamps, which are so cute. I have yet to use. Um, I have my Instax camera. I have some, my little collection of Starbucks ornaments, my little crown to re remind myself that I'm a queen of my domain. <laughs> I have my sticker, um, not my stickers, my glasses here. I also have another pair of glasses and I keep them here. My Apple pencils, some sticky notes, miscellaneous stuff, miscellaneous tape roller and scissors, undo, which I covered with uh, marble stickers because I don't like the yellow and red um, label that was on there. My favorite pens in these mugs. My husband bought me this Ponder Spot mug a while ago. And I got this Hustle and Heart mug off of Etsy. Um, I always have my iPad here, my laptop here. Um, this, my husband just bought me as a congratulations for reaching 10K on Instagram. So I um, haven't really had a chance to play with that yet, but I have that there. So usually when I'm here working, either on designing stuff or, you know, just orders or my day job, I usually have a plan with me playing on here. <laughs> um, so that's usually always how my desk is set up with my planner always here. And I'm currently in the Louis Vuitton A5. And, oh, here's my vision board. So some of you guys have seen that in my planners. In the front cover, I keep um, a printout of my vision board. So it's always with me. But I have this here and I love it so much. I actually, this is recycled from 2017 and I'm using it again for 2018 because I love it and everything kind of still holds true so I didn't feel the need to change it. But basically this picture is because I love illustration and I love that style of illustration, but also I love um, like fashion and you know, style. So that's just kind of like inspiration and motivation about fashion and personal style. The today um, card there is just to remind myself to stay in the present moment and cherish each day. This create, of course, goes without explanation, um, create every day. This thing of books is to remind me to read because I've always loved to read all my life, but lately I just haven't made the time and it makes me sad to think about that. So this is a reminder to start reading again. Um, some of you might have heard me mention before that I love to write and I used to blog a lot 
before and um, I still do love to write so this is motivation for my love of writing um, capturing each moment um, like in photographs and shine bright just um, just always trying to put my best fo foot forward and really let my creative juices shine bright and share it with everybody um, this was the free journaling card download um, for May, which you can get on my website, theplannerspot.com. And then this card was from a minted sugar order, and I just love what it says. Surround yourself with the dreamers, the believers, the planners, and the doers. I love that. So yeah, I keep that above my desk for inspiration. And I think that's about it. Oh, over here, um, we need to get a new table for this. We're using my daughter's old art table, so it's all like scratched up and messed up. But I keep a laminator. I have an Echo Dot, uh, my, which we'll call it, inkjet printer, extra paper for printing just regular paper stuff. I always have Kleenex nearby because I have bad allergies. I'm going to have my laser printer down there. Oh, yeah, and this little box here I use for my paperwork just to file away. The cords look all yucky but i can never find a solution for that <laughs> so that's about it that's how my desk looks and like i said it's usually in this condition all the time because this is like my happy place and like my little domain and so yeah if you have any questions let me know i hope you enjoyed this i love watching other people's office tours so if you know of any good ones let me know in the comments below and next time I'll talk about those sticker binders over there. All right, thank you for joining me today and I'll talk to you next time, bye.